Welcome to another episode of Good Cooking. And today, we went to the LA Farmer's Market, where we visited with Bob, who's owned his business for over 50 years. This is Bob's Coffee and Donuts. How did you get started in this business? My father had a business here starting in 1949, and I started working for him when I was 10. Wow. So I've been here almost all my life. I'm 82 now. So I've been You're 82? Here, yeah. <laughs> so I've been, I've been in the market for 72 years. When I was in college, a business came up in the market for sale. It was a seafood market. Then I bought the donut shop in 1970. And then I also had the seafood restaurant here, and I've retired from that one. So I've had three businesses, plus my dad's meat business. Wow. So I'm four businesses, two generations. You are the farmer's market. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I think I'm the oldest guy here. So what made you end up keeping the donuts? I had to make a deal with the family to keep one business. Okay. So we all decided it would be the donut business because everybody loved the donuts so much. You don't eat fish every day, right. but you do eat a donut, a donut if you every can. Day. And yeah, coffee. You can. So I've had this business here for 53 years. And we have a lot of regulars that have been coming for years, generational. I have grandkids coming from people that were here 50 years ago. It's incredible. It is incredible. You know, that's the, that's the thing is, the nostalgia for this, I think people are yearning for. They love to see things that are basically a time capsule. It's in original. A great, well, in a great way. It's original completely. Everything, the way you see it is, we didn't try and make it look old fashioned. It is old fashioned. So are you here every day? Not, a, I used to be. Okay. But now that I'm older, and I have a terrific manager here, I don't go, every day. I play a little golf, I play a little bridge, I make model airplanes, and my wife has a list of things for me to do Right. every day now that I'm semi-retired. <laughs> I'm busier now than I've ever been. <laughs> and I've heard this, and, and maybe you can take me a little bit through this, there's no preservatives or anything in your donuts, right? We don't add any preservative to our donuts. Two days later, they're like a hockey puck. Right. We want it to Incredible. be natural. Well, I've had a number of your donuts, and I have to tell you that every one of them is just impeccable. Thank you. And you can tell like there's a lot of love put into those. We those have donuts. a tasting committee whenever we add a donut. And if anybody vetoes the donut, we don't make it. Really? So you have to have a unanimous? Yes. Across the board for so it to go on the shelf. And we have the tasting committee is my wife and I, my two daughters, and my two granddaughters. <laughs> That's a plus because we have a certain way of having a taste. So if you like one, you're going to like them all because you have the same taste as we do. Right. If you say, Jesus, it's not sweet enough, you probably won't like any of our donuts. Wow. Because we don't like too sweet a donut. I, well, that's the key, I think. I think it's just enough sweetness. They're light, they're airy. You can tell such quality. You have good taste like we do. I know. That's why I wanted to do this with you. <laughs> Plus, you're the, the most fashionable guy I've ever seen. This is how you came to work every day. When I worked for my dad in the meat market, this was in the early 50s. All the butchers wore shirt and tie. Shirt and tie. So I'm just used to dressing like this. It's a time gone by. It really is. And it's... I'm a you, dinosaur. I know you're not. To me, you're gold. I mean, this is what it should be. It should still be like this. I, I, I truly feel like that. Want to come in and have a taste? I do. I want to come back there behind there, and I want you to pick whatever donut it is, or donuts, and I would like to try those with you. I'll tell you all about it. Let's go. This is how it starts. First we mix the dough, then we bundle it, let it sit. We use natural yeast. It's not a chemical. We have to bundle it like grandma did. If I get a chemical booster, I can avoid all of this and start cutting and cooking in 10 minutes. The way we do it, it takes an hour and a half for the dough to get ready. But what a difference it is in the taste. So you can see it. getting this dough to be ready to cut, it's got to be just right. So he's got it now the right thickness and how he relaxes it. He flips it up a little bit. That way the donut doesn't come out square. And now he's cutting for raised glazed donuts. We cut them all by hand. You can use a machine, but it's not the same. I thought when I first bought the place 23 years ago, how hard can it be to make a donut? It's hard to make a donut. <laughs> <laughs> to make a donut the way we do. Right. And then what? What it's going to look like when it gets done is this. It can be a raised glaze, or you can put very, very fine sugar. That makes a sugar raise, we call it. Or you can put chocolate on it, or you can make it in a bar instead of round. Now, 
This is my favorite cake donut. Okay. Now this is different. This isn't a raised donut like you were watching. Okay. This is a solid donut like bread. When you break it open, it doesn't have a lot of holes. That's yours. Okay. Ben, you don't, you're going to have to photograph Ben, I'm sorry. Yep, no worries. Because we get to eat. It's a buttermilk cake, which is slightly sour because of the buttermilk. Then you put a sweet, thin glaze on it. I made a... <laughs> Bob. It's living. This is happiness. This is the New Year's resolution. The diet is done. Resolution Bob. last... You know, my resolution was to clean out the garage. <laughs> you know what the chances of that are? Zero. Not good. <laughs> My favorite raised donut is just the plain raised. That's it, with the simple glaze. Now this is my wife's favorite. When we come here, this is what she likes. I'm never gonna lose weight. It's never gonna happen. I don't wanna. This is too good. Bam. I can't talk, I'm enjoying this too much. <laughs> I've talked enough. This is... <laughs> This is good. This is good. Bob, the airiness, the softness, but I love how the glaze is just enough just and, it, and it cracks a little. It's not too sweet. No. Oh my God. Are we about to have a maple bacon bar? Yeah, this could be a mistake. Okay, I'm gonna split it here with Ben. You're lucky right. you said that before you tasted it because Ben, you wouldn't get any more. <laughs> yeah. You gotta try the maple bacon bar, I don't even know. <laughs> I have a question. Do you think there's any possibility I can work my way onto the uh, tasting committee? <laughs> no, I, I tell you there isn't, unless we do a genetic test. <laughs> because it's all bloodline family. I understand. My son-in-law is not on the committee. Really? Wow. No, he's not. Really. I'm going home right now to immediately do 23 and Me. I'm gonna send it in and I wanna know if I'm related to Bob. Do you need a hair area. sample? Because I got, so, because you get, that's the only way you can You know, tell. you and I, I think may, we have the same hair almost. Okay. Mine's a little more slick. Could be. You, you know? have any, do you have any relatives from Spain? I could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could. I'd do anything to be part of this taste <laughs> testing group, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> I, I'm just happy that I, I've gotten the chance to sit down with you and, and learn this story because, like I said, this is the, this is the type of stuff that People really need to know about, and they need to. It needs to live on for a very long time because you can't recreate this. It's been 53 years now, so it's been around for a long time, and that's unusual. It's incredible. So I, I think, hopefully, it'll be around for a long time in the future. Yeah, you're absolutely wonderful. These donuts are incredible. Your operation is absolutely spectacular, and I am just very grateful that you invited us in and given us a little. A little tour. It's a pleasure to meet you. You're an Gary. absolute gentleman. I wish you nothing but health and happiness. Thank you, sir. And this is a beautiful, friend. beautiful place. I hope it remains. And Ben, nice to meet you too. You as well. The and man. Thanks, guys. Get you a box of donuts to take home. Oh, oh God, thank, thank you so much.